Okay. Hey, everybody. It's Wednesday. Uh, not Wednesday. <laughs> it feels like Wednesday. It's Tuesday, July 30th. Yes, it is. You're here at the weekly community call for chaos. I'm Elizabeth, the chaos community manager. Good to see everybody here today. Um, as you know, this is part of the chaos code of conduct. So just keep that in mind. And also, of course, we don't care if you have your cameras on or off. We don't care. We're happy if you're happy. That's all. I'll, I'll leave some more spaces here. Oops. All right. Oh, I should have my name here. If you are one of those folks who uses um, text to type, I would. I'm just curious how accurate um, these things are. My uh, my partner lives an hour drive away, so I'm in the car a lot and I use Siri all the time to, to respond to texts and things and sometimes it's not super close and I end up texting very strange things to people so I'm really glad it does say though uh texting with Siri or something sent with Siri so I'm off the hook for being weird <laughs> that's the only that's the only time I get off the hook for being weird all the other times I'm I'm just weird so, Can I ask okay. you a question? Because I can't raise my hand because yes. I have not in the call. Um, we've had some fun experiences when Siri reads the text back in the car. Um, if you, if things aren't spelled correctly, I don't know if you've had that experience as well. But like, there's, I sort of enjoy how things kind of go down the telephone <laughs> route. I have. I think the names. It really struggles with names in particular. Um, I also appreciate when one of my family members or friends or partners sends me the wordle, their wordle for the day. And so Siri will read off individual squares, every single emoji, every single square. So yeah, that's super fun. So then my kids figured that out. So then they just text me, you know, like 12 emojis in a row just to be that way, because <laughs> that's how they are. So fun fact, if you are texting someone that is driving, you can do that to them. It's quite fun, yes. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, if you need the minutes, we are more than happy to put those in the chat. Let me just move this around here a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> just ask in the chat and we'll be happy to put them in. Um, and if you need uh, anything else, just let us know. If you're new, if you don't know what's going on, you can raise your hand, it's cool. Um, so, okay, so we have a new command in Slack uh, called Chaos Help. So if you type in this command, you can do it right now if you want or not. Uh, if you type chaos help, it should give you a, a direct message from Slack that just has a list of some of the common links that we look for. Things like our um, just a link to our metrics, our link to our docs, a link to the templates, I think, um, the logo, stuff like that. <clears throat> and then some of these reminders to some of these links are also in that. Um, I'm curious if there are other things we should add. Like, I don't think this needs to be an exhaustive list. It's supposed to just kind of get you started. Um, it's it's sort of like a mirror, not not really a mirror of the new newbie bot, but <clears throat> it's for anybody. It's for anybody, and it can be. It's more generic, I think, and just a little simpler than a newcomer bot. So I'm curious what people think. If there's things we should add, if it's okay as is, what we what we think. If anybody's using it right now, let me know. I'm using it in general. It just told me that my um, spelling it right. Chaos is not a valid command. Oh. Yeah, I got the same error when I oh, tried it over the weekend, and I just tested it again now. And it did not. It did I get that same message? Okay. Can you can you do me a favor and try in the like your one on one with Slack? You know how you have that like channel that's just you and Slackbot. Yeah, I talk to Slackbot all day, so hold on. Is that your friend, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> your AI friend? How are you? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it doesn't, it's, it's quite pleasant. It doesn't, you know, give you a hard time. It's not really a valid cool. command. Still not a valid command. Okay, well, maybe it just works for me then. Um, so I guess you all are on your own. I get all the help I need. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, Elizabeth. Troubleshoot. Not troubleshooting. I don't want that. Troubleshoot. It, it's almost certainly a permissions issue, Elizabeth. Slack is really fine grained about how it gives permissions for this kind of stuff. Okay. Let me LOL. Okay. 
well thanks anyway <laughs> thanks for checking thanks for checking oh uh, yeah that's typically how my good ideas go is they're just not quite up to up to snuff it seems like a great idea in my head and that's the execution that i struggle with <laughs> okay uh let's go on then since it doesn't work the next one hopefully does work for people. Um, this is a, we've been talking about this for forever, forever, is having a place that we can list our talks at conferences. And since we have this new um, calendar system, I just set up a whole separate calendar, completely separate. Um, it's not connected to our chaos meetings at all. It just uses the same platform. Um, so if you have a talk and you want to promote it, I have the Fosse ones in here. Um, but if there's a talk you're giving at an upcoming conference, we can put it in here. Happy to do that. That's the only one we have right now. Uh, so, yeah. My question to you all is where should we, should we publish this somewhere or put this somewhere on the website? Or like, what do we want to do with this? Or maybe nothing. Maybe just have the link floating around. I do like it. Um, like, would you make it um just like uh, other calendars like right now the one i have is chaos meetings i mean if you yeah i didn't think people would make necessarily want to subscribe to it um but mostly just have a place where we can collect them if nothing else and share the link uh it, but i mean maybe somebody would want to subscribe i don't know what do you all think maybe you could just pin it at the top of general so in the, in the past, when we started Chaos, we used to have, here's a list of upcoming talks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and we, we just had a list with links to the talks in, but that was back when we had the wiki. I don't think we ever translated that to the website. Um, if you go back to the calendar view, and instead of looking at it in the month view, you look at it as a table, then this is a nice overview, or even as a list. Maybe we embed that somewhere as an iframe. I, I do kind of like it in the calendar because I feel like it connects with the idea of these are spaces where folks from the chaos community will be open and available for discussion too. Like I think also leaking your talk means that like you're most likely going to be at this conference if you're trying to connect with someone um, where like the calendar is also, these are the, the structured meetings where we're connecting, but these are also the sort of the other spaces where you might find a chaotic. But kind of, I like that they're, they're similar. It just, it might, I don't know if people would go to the calendar for that information. So we might have to update the language a little bit just to see that it's more inclusive of spaces to find chaotic. I also use the word chaotic a lot in that sentence. Just twice. I like a lot. What other ideas do we have? We don't have to spit them all out right now. If you do have more ideas after this meeting, just send me a message um, or the comms team. You can drop it in there as well uh, with some ideas. I like these ideas a lot. Maybe we can do all of them. And if you do have an upcoming talk, you should be able to, <laughs> you should be able to actually use this command. I'm pretty sure that works. So um, just let us know and we'll help you promote it and we'll make sure people know about it as much as we can help you with because uh, yeah we have some great uh chaotic take giving great talks about chaos and also just related talks so happy to help you promote those any questions comments anything else oh peculiar what's up hi everyone um yeah as he said that, I also want to say something. Last In the last meeting, we discussed about collecting those uh, materials that uh, folks have used during their presentation in different conferences. And 
those the topics so we can add them as part of uh, education uh, workshop materials that will also help us to like know topics that have been covered by KIOS in different conferences. So is there a way as those folks are, are speaking in those events that they can be able to submit their materials to education projects? Is there a way in your promotion you can add that um, accent? I think that's a great idea. Um, does anybody have any thoughts around, are there any conferences that don't allow that? Maybe some of the LF conferences might not allow the recording of the talk to be co cross posted, but um, maybe just the slides, I think, if in that case, what do we think about that? Yeah, I have no idea what like other people's policy are. Yeah, slides, I don't I mean, I don't recall signing over copyright on the slides for anything that I've ever done. Okay, so that should be okay then, right? Well, at least in that regard, yeah. Um, but I also don't know. Um, I don't recall anything that says I can't like re record a talk or re give a talk that I gave at the LF. I hope that's not the case because I feel like I've done that before. I mean, I don't want to give people more work, but um, definitely like the slides, I feel like would be an easy, an easy ask. What do we think? And Jonas, to your question, yeah, for sure, 100%. So if you can, um, Okay, so apparently this is not working again. <laughs> so, it, worked, but there is... it, worked, it worked for me. Oh, interestingly, in general. I tried it in general, and I tried it in the working group comms channel, and both didn't work for me. Okay. Okay. Well, there is, it is pinned at the top of the general channel, that submission form. So, Jonas, if you're in the Slack and you go to the top of general, there should be a link there that just says submission form and then give us a, a link to your talk if it's out there already um and we can help you promote that for sure awesome thank you yeah you're welcome also chaos will have a, a booth there at all things open so if you are ever interested in doing any booth duty you're welcome to join us not no pressure whatsoever no pressure I showed up to a meeting for the first time in a while <laughs> and also <laughs> and also <laughs> But, uh, I was part of one of the first meetings. Um, yeah. What was that in in, um, in Nevada somewhere at a, a at the Open Source Leadership Summit? Yeah, it was probably in the. Was it in Tahoe? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Was it. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm happy to help out. Absolutely, I'll be there at the show, so I'm happy to help. Or at the very least, come get some stickers. We have plenty of stickers for you. So, <laughs> um, okay. So, sorry, peculiar. <laughs> totally digressed off of your original question. Um, yes, I think that's a great idea. Uh, I'm not sure what the process. If we need a process for reminding people, besides just reminding people that if they want to upload their slides to the education project, here's how you do it. What do you think? Peculiar. What do you uh, would you envision something else, a, a way to get those to get that to happen? I guess. Uh, uh, what I did was I created a, uh, an issue on education projects. Like last time, I shared it on the general channel, uh, requesting anybody interested to share the the slide or the materials for their talks. Uh, could just uh, maybe add it to the, that on the trade. So I'll collect them and then make use of them. I made I made a post on General Chanel. Um, that was like weekend. So that means we have an issue there where they can as or any they can just uh reappear or target with the topic with the title of the talk. 
that's it's also okay. <clears throat> Does somebody want to find that issue? Maybe we can link it here. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we'll just try to remind people kind of how we remind folks to add their non PR contributions to that document, um, which, by the way, you all will see it. Hopefully there will be a reminder that happens the first of every month. So we'll get that tested in a few days. But yeah, if we can add that to reminders, actually, to let's just put it down here. Uh, we'll see here um, if you give in a talk. Great. Awesome. Let's just copy this link. Thanks, Matt. Yep. And I know the idea, at least having chatted with Peculiar, is that as we were looking at like the different topics that people might want to to learn about like in you know the open source 101 like here are some things that you need to understand or you're starting to build community here are some things that you might want to think about like clearly people have given these talks before and so why redo and remake a slide deck instead of just lean into the things that people have done totally agree okay awesome Anything else we want to talk about on this kind of general topic about other stuff at conferences? Okay, then we'll move on. Um, let everybody know there is a new chaos cast on organizational participation practitioner guide. Um, myself and Don and Harmony and Alice did this one. And I just want to give a shout out to Paul for an amazing editing job because we we struggled a little bit. <laughs> we struggled a little bit and Paul made us sound like we were regular normal people. So amazing, amazing work. It's actually a really uh, fun podcast. So feel free to listen to that if you want. Uh, next one on our list is just to let people know if you're interested in joining uh, the technical writers group, which has just been a slack channel for a very long time is now starting um, some regular meetings under uh, harmony, which I think harmony is on this call harmony do you want to say anything about uh, about these meetings to everybody, if not that's totally fine I don't want to put you on the spot here. Okay, no worries. No worries. It, you can also mention something in the chat if that's easier. I know it's not always easy to unmute and and speak. So no worries. Um, but if you are interested, it's on the calendar. It's part of the chaos Africa group. So if you're already subscribed, it should show up for you automatically. And if you are not, then you can find those that whole group of um, that whole group of meetings on the uh, chaos calendar on the website. I think this first meeting is going to be tomorrow and then of course there'll be a little break and then they'll come back, so I think this first meeting tomorrow is just try to. kind of figure out what what the goals are for the group, maybe some um, action plans in progress what some projects they want to work on. Uh, or what has been brought to the group already, because I know some folks have requested help um, from the technical writers so there you go. Any questions comments anything. Okay, well, we'll move on. I see Matt's adding things left and right. <laughs> Metrics citations now in progress. Matt, you want to talk about that? After you're done adding more stuff to our agenda. Unmuting. So um, Val, who is on this call, so thanks for being here, Val, um, is going to be helping uh, here at the university. Hi, Val. <laughs> uh, to start adding citations to the metrics that don't have them. So kind of taking a look at any published work that has been done around a particular topic, um, whatever it might be. So, you know, I'd say maybe, I don't know, I don't know what the number is, but anyway, he's gonna be taking a kind of a systematic look at um, published research 
uh, for our metrics. That was something that we had in mind and it's happening now. So that's that. Val, did you have a comment or were you just saying hi? Okay. Um, and then I just wanted to put in front of, okay, just saying hi. All right. Um, I wanted to just, we talked about this last week, but we're doing, um, we're going to be retemplating uh, all of our metrics and it's going to be quite a big amount of work. So right now, most of our metrics, we have about 85 or 90 metrics. Um, they're all in the same template. I think a few have kind of slipped through there that are in an older template. So we just need to make sure that those are all the same. And then additionally, we're kind of reducing what people will see on each one of the metrics. Um, so right now, if you go and take a look at any particular published metrics, it's a fairly long markdown file of information, which is, that's great. Um, but we're going to hide some of that information just in case somebody would like to know more about a particular metric. And so really all that you'll see when you go to a metric page is the name of the metric, the question that the metric is addressing, and an overview of that metric. So that's it, just kind of the, the definition of what that metric is. And then again, we'll have a drop down that if people would like to know more around, say, collect data collection strategies or maybe how to visualize this metric, that will be available, but it'll be hidden on, on um, first pass. Elizabeth, I know you were going to, in time, maybe take a look at, at whether or not we can do this with Markdown, that kind of hidden part. You know, I don't know if you've had a chance to take a look at that. I have not. <laughs> so I hope it works before I will. I, I promise I will check that before we start doing that to everyone. I promise. I swear. All right. Um, and then we had talked about um, potentially hiring somebody to do this work because it's, it's a fairly large amount of uh, systematic work. So we did bring that up here last week and I just like to bring that up again. Um, so anyway, that's it on the, the new template. So those are my two metric things slowly moving those forward and Matt we don't have any kind of um like time frame that you're trying to get these done by a certain date either of these uh no you know sooner rather than later but that's vague okay. it takes what it takes I get it yep. awesome anybody have questions for Matt on either of these two things Yes, Georg, is that a link to like the uh, markdown? Because the markdown I can get to work. I'm just not sure if the WordPress, when it pulls in the, the markdown, will allow us to still keep that. That's my question, really. Uh, okay, understood. But that's helpful. Leave that there. That's super helpful. Thank you. Anybody else have questions, comments, anything? Okay, let's go on. Chaos summer break next two weeks, right here, August 5th through 16th. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy about this. I'm so happy that you all decided this while I wasn't here. And I feel like I should not be in meetings more often if these are the kind of decisions strategically that are made because I support this 10,000%. So thank you, community. I can't remember um, the last time we didn't do this. I think we you what? I can't remember the last time we didn't do this. We, I think we always do it, don't we? Uh, sure, I don't remember. I don't know. Yes, <laughs> agreed. Uh, the, only, the only meeting I left on the calendar was the ISO meeting because it's a monthly meeting. So if you all who are in that group want to cancel it, totally fine with me. I just didn't want to make that assumption since the next one wouldn't be for a whole other month. Uh, why don't we cancel it just be, and then I'll make sure to async with everybody on okay. that. Be consistent. Yeah, I can, I'm great at deleting things, so I'm happy to do that. Um, as long as you'll help me, because I think I may have said that that was not canceled. So yeah, help me. Make sure everybody knows. Okay. Awesome. Anybody have questions about this? I don't know what those questions would be, but maybe you do. I don't know. 
Okay. Okay, and this I think is also from the Code of Conduct team. Again, a reminder to check these documents and give some review and feedback on them because they are, um, they affect all of us in the community. So, um, Gail, did you want to say anything about this? Exactly what you already said. This is a reminder that we are uh, in the process of drafting these and they're not in effect yet. We are looking for feedback and we want to make sure and everyone is aware that this work is happening so that when we, when we do put these procedures into effect that there's no surprises and everyone had a chance to look them over and give feedback and everyone had was heard in the process. The goal is to have a structured response because right now we have a code of conduct, but if we get a report, there's no predictability on how we would response, respond as a team. And this will give us a clear path and everyone in the community knows what to expect when they do make a report. Georg, okay, is there a date that you're gonna cut, it, cut off the review and feedback phase? No, we don't have that right now. We are working on templates for processing the information. If we get a report, then we have a structured way of capturing it. And so we are discussing those things right now. I think after the summer, we'll come around and say, okay, now we are ready to go live. Okay, so people have a little, a little longer, a little more time. Awesome. Yeah, no rush. Harmony asks what the mediums are for feedback, just comments on the docs. Is that your preferred method of receiving those comments? Yeah, comments on the doc is the most context relevant way to provide feedback because it's right there. If someone rather talk to one of us, we can also set up a meeting or you can reach out to us through Slack. So whichever way works. Okay, any other questions or comments for Georg? One comment, maybe we should move this under reminders. We can certainly do that. There we go. And then next time I'll just copy paste. Although it won't be next week, it'll be in a few weeks. Anything else for Georg or the team? Oh, y'all, we're doing so good on our agenda. Look at this. Um, so we already talked about this one on reminders. Uh, some open CFPs, if you are into that and you want to submit some talks, here's some places you can do that. Do we think, I don't want to, oh man, I don't want to make more work for myself, but do we think that this merits a calendar somewhere? It's okay if you say no, I will be okay with that. No. Okay, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you, Matt. Uh, if you have ideas uh, for a podcast or feedback or whatever, you can email this. It will go to the team. Um, send news. You can send us any kind of news. The, commu the communications team wants to help you spread your news about anything you're working on in chaos, um, both internally through the chaos community inside of us, all of us right here, or externally, like on our LinkedIn and our our social media stuff. So something just like I've, uh, I think we did one today about uh, Don had a um, article that got posted on opensource.com.net.com about the practitioner guides. And so, you know, we just will help promote that and amplify that message. So those are the kinds of things we're looking to help you do. Um, so let us help you and give us this news if you can figure out how to do that i guess is the, the question go to the pinned link at the top of slack general i'll, I'll change this i did submit something last week i think you did i don't see it on the spreadsheet okay that's a breakdown okay it was i think it came out of a dei call curious oh that's concerning to me because it did not show up on our spreadsheet so i don't know where it went okay let me double check my brain 
that I in fact did do that. Okay. Well, try, try again. And then if it did not work, I will look into that for sure. But if it did, I mean, then we'll, we'll know that it was just your brain, not my form. So uh, you can also nominate someone for Chaotic of the Week. Um, if you see somebody doing something awesome and you want us to help celebrate them and um, just have the community have a chance to get to know them a little better, you can certainly nominate someone. Um, and then, of course, we talked about this and we talked about this. So we have 16 minutes left. If anybody has anything else to add to the agenda, otherwise we will. Oh, I have a blog post that I'm drafting from the United Nations uh, Ospels for Good event and the workshop afterwards. Uh, we have a workshop on metrics and from that conversation, um, so just a heads up. Perfect. That's the, that's exactly the kind of thing that the comms team would want to know about. And we'll also help you, you, Georg, or whoever, um, publish something to the, the chaos blog. So yes, 100%. Uh, yeah. This looked like such a good event. Oh man. Like I don't get I don't get FOMO too often, but man, there that looks so amazing. I am I'm super excited to see what came out of that. So yeah. Yeah, and this is actually Venu who's drafting it, who oh, was a Google Summer of Code student a while back, went off, got his master's, and he was in New York City and helped us take notes and drafting the blog post. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, anything else? I'm going to I'm going to wait for Sophia cuz she usually has that last minute thing where she sneaks in under the radar. She's not unmuting. Uh-oh. Nothing today? Oh, Sophia. So sad. No, I'm I'm behind at all my conference talks. So that's only <laughs> Well, then we will definitely give you your 14 minutes back. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it today. Thank you, everybody, for coming. It was really great to see everybody here. We will not see you next week or the week after. So come back in three weeks, refreshed and rejuvenated, as we all will be. All right. See y'all. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. Bye.